Hi, guys. Seems like my little monster is late today. Ugh. Sue, this might help us catch some monsters to ask them for a recipe. Ugh. No, silly. But I assure you, it'll be a monstrously delicious cake. Don't you want to write everything down? Nope. I'll copy it right in my brain. Three slimes never forget things, you know. Let's get started. 162 grams go straight into the bowl. Ahem! And 10 grams go right on me! Achoo! Sammy, could you preheat the oven, please? The second ingredient is sugar. Our monsters will be very sweet. Sweet? I always thought monsters were bitter and sour. Monsters can be different, Sammy. Remember Monsters, Inc., the animated film? Don't overdo it with the baking powder, Sue! Guys, do you like Sully and Mike from Monsters, Inc.? Then give a thumbs up! Here's half a teaspoon of salt. Let's make the monsters a bit salty. Sue, I believe you're gonna need a whisk right now. Thanks. Guys, this will enrich our dry mix with air. Make sure to get all the lumps out. And I am ready to taste that sour cream. All right, just one scoop. Ugh, it's so thick. Ah! Oops, careful. Now we have a slimy snowman. Proper snowman should definitely be made from ice cream. Yeah, right. Let's add sour cream to our mixture. And it had better be of high fat content for this recipe. Mmm, nice. My mouth is watering. I should eat something. Whoop! Perfect crime! Not so fast. The egg is for the dough. Here, take this. Whoop! I have a smooth mixture in the bowl. Now we need to add four more ingredients. Done. Water and vanilla go first. Careful now. Here we go. Shh! I'm quite sure a monster is hiding inside this egg. Then it will be our secret ingredient, right? Let's see. Okay, this one is 100% a monster egg. I'm afraid this one is just an egg, too. Well, scientists also make mistakes, you know. Guys, we're running out of time here. Let's hurry up. Whoosh! Voila, we added oil. Now it's time for the mixer. You'd better ask an adult to help you at this stage. Mix all ingredients thoroughly, like this. The batter is done. Where did Sammy go? Here I am, Sue, as well as a perfect ring mold. Wow, you even lined it with parchment paper. Now it's time to pour the batter into it. This way. The oven is preheated to 200 degrees Celsius. And I want to be part of the cake. Sam, stop joking. It's time to bake. All right. Our sponge cake will be ready in about 17 minutes. In the meantime, let's make some frosting. We need the butter at room temperature. Enough feeding, Susie. It's been 30 seconds already. Okay, this will be enough. Now let's add some powdered sugar. Half a cup will be just fine. Gotcha! Careful, Susie! Gotcha! And one tablespoon of heavy cream for the right consistency. Voila! you're gonna need next. I'll bring it right away. <laughs> Easy. That's all for you, miss. Very good, Sammy. We need just a pinch of it to make our frosting not too sweet. What do you think we should add next, Sammy? How about adding some vanilla? <laughs> well, we could use some, but I actually meant sugar. Fine. It was just a suggestion. Oh, you're mixing already. Guys, be sure to ask an adult to help with that. Done. Now we need to divide it into three equal parts. Voila. Now we need to color them. And here is the coloring. Only monstrous hues. Let's get started. Our experiment begins. Splash. Wow. It's covering the frosting so beautifully. Check out this bright purple tint. Let's mix it with the frosting. There we go. We need to mix it well to get the perfect even color. Wow, check out these bright colors, guys. 
Now it's time for a piping bag. I wanted to help, so I prepared the sponge cakes! Don't forget the stand. Our cake will be monstrously big. The first tier is on board! And this layer is gonna be purple. Here we go. Make some neat stripes covering the whole surface of the layer. This way. Wow, Sue. Maybe I should turn purple too? You are perfect no matter what color you are. Now using a spatula, we are going to smear the purple frosting all over the sponge layer. Check this out. Mmm, looks fantastic. Time to add the second layer to make our cake higher. And now we'll cover it with some frosting too. Check this out. You can even draw shapes with a piping bag. But we're gonna spread the frosting anyway. Almost done. Care for some magic? Whoa, and the purple tear is ready. Woo! Let's take a selfie! Say cheese, Mr. Cake! <laughs> Great! Our cake will have two more tears, so... No, 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 Susie! I can't watch this! <laughs> Mellow out, Sammy. So, did you get why we need this stick? I think you did that to hurt my feelings! No, silly. It will serve as a support for all the cake tiers. Are you implying there will be several monsters? Well, we do have frosting in three colors, right? Which one should go next? I think I'd like green or blue or green or blue. You know what? Let it be green. All right. I think I'm going to use some magic if you don't mind. Guys, are you ready to? Why do you even ask, Sue? Then let's begin. Please. I'll start with the green tier. And voila, cool. Ooh, it looks so yummy. Not so fast. Nah. So guys, are you ready for some stacking magic? Then watch. Cool, now we'll make some decorations using a piping bag again. Say no more, I'm on it. Super Sam to the rescue. Thanks, Super Sam. And now prepare to be amazed. Whoa, Susie, how'd you do that? Are you flash? <laughs> no, Sammy. I just used some good old video editing. Guys, do you like this funny creamy monster fur? Note that you need a rather thick cream to create fur like this. To my mind, it looks very realistic. What do you say, Sammy? Realistic indeed and monstrously funny. Thank you. But there's still something missing. What do you mean? Let me take a closer look. Woo, these eyes are staring right into your soul. Everything seems okay to me. Wait, what? Susie, I got it. We are missing the third cake tier. Right, the blue one. And here it comes. Whoosh. Awesome, now we're talking. Check out this cute blue eye. And the tooth is lovely. I guess it's time to admire our monstrous cake. Hi guys, have you ever felt disappointed because of your vanished ice cream? Well, I have. Careful with my horn, I have a unicorn Zoom meeting in several minutes. <sighs> Just look at him, what a serious slimy unicorn. Who seriously eats somebody else's ice cream? Without batting an eye. <sighs> anyway, let's start. So can you keep it down please? Ugh, come on. I'll try, Sammy. Guys, we need to add two eggs to the bowl. One and two. My apologies, colleagues. The transaction is expected to be completed in the fourth quarter. <laughs> While Sam's on his super important meeting, we just need to mix our butter with the eggs and sugar. Mm, there's gonna be something yummy. I'll be back. Inhale. Exhale, Sue. Breathe and keep making the batter. 
Guys, nothing can upset me now because I'm making an awesome unicorn cake. It's time to add some flour. You'd better sift it to avoid any lumps this way. Shake up the flour. Add baking powder to make the batter fluffy. And now let's mix it all well. Mamma mia! It's gonna be the best batter ever! Now, guys, wanna see some magic? You may ask why we need so many bowls with the batter. And I'll tell you that we're making a very unusual cake. It will be made up of many colorful, delicious cupcakes! Huh. Is she why I don't get it? Is this yellow or orange? <laughs> Sammy, this batter is gonna be orange. See? The sale of unicorn glitter is lower than last year! How come? I suppose we need to use some unicorn magic. Up. So beautiful! We need to change our rainbow coloring strategy. Rainbow coloring strategy? Sounds, um, unusual. It seems like these seven colors are out of next year's trends. <laughs> Don't worry, Sammy. Unicorns and rainbows will always be relevant. But still, what was your meeting all about, Sam? So it's our unicorn business, you know. Your most important business is helping me with craft. Oh, guys, everything turned out so bright. Now let's put the cupcakes into the oven. <laughs> guys, we should bake our cupcakes at 190 degrees Celsius. Exactly. This temperature is perfect for this batter. Guys, ask an adult to help you, because the oven is really hot. Bake the cakes for 20 to 25 minutes, and keep an eye on them. Oh, everything is ready! Don't forget to use oven gloves so you don't burn yourself. Now let's take the cupcakes out of the oven. Up. Mmm, the smell is terrific! Here are our cuties! It looks so yummy! Wow, that's a real unicorn miracle! I think you'll be happy to know that the filling is also in a unicorn style. So we can relax. Vogue says that old rainbow colors will be on trend for the next five years. <laughs> That's great. Then we can fill our cupcakes with these tasty sprinkles. Uh, I hope Sammy hasn't eaten all of it. Hey guys, I rebranded myself. So fancy, isn't it? <laughs> Very stylish. By the way, I'm really happy that you're not so big and didn't eat a lot of the sprinkles. <laughs> There's enough to fill all of our cupcakes. There. A little bit more. And close it! This way. Guys, if you like our cakes, give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel! By the way, maybe you should write a book about your unicorn business. Oh, nice idea. Something like, my way to the unicorn success! Guys, check out our unicorn! So, it doesn't actually look like one. <laughs> give me several minutes and you'll see what I'm talking about. Guys, I've got something really cool for you! Check out this fluffy frosting! Doesn't it look like a unicorn cloud? Voila! Oh, this buttercream frosting looks so yummy! So, can I taste it? Please, please! <laughs> Just a little bit, Sammy. <laughs> oh, how I love stealing a bite while you're cooking! Now we need to evenly spread the frosting. Guys, be careful not to eat everything before the final result. <laughs> Sammy, calm down. Oh, when I look at this delicious frosting-covered cake, I can think of nothing else. I totally agree. Awesome! Guys, give a thumbs up if you like how the cake turned out so far. 
And this will help us make a cheek for our unicorn. There we go. I think it looks beautiful and pretty realistic. Do you agree, guys? And let's not forget about the nose. This way. All right, beautiful. Our unicorn is finally taking its shape. So, it still doesn't look like a unicorn to me. <laughs> That's because we still need to add more details. Our beautiful unicorn will have a fancy, colorful mane. I decided to start with pink. Carefully, don't brush. So I've been thinking, why don't unicorns count as a wonder of the world? I mean, they're so sweet and awesome. <laughs> That's a good question. Unicorns deserve their place in the world's wonders list. I know that there are several lists of the wonders of the world. The oldest one was made by ancient Greeks. Any ideas what it contains, Sammy? Let me guess. Olives, then the feta cheese. <laughs> Sammy, those are stereotypes about Greece. That list mainly has architectural items, actually. Huh. I just opened that list on Wikipedia. The only exception is the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Why exception? By the way, I can name all the ancient wonders of the world. Sounds ambitious. Bring it, Susie! <clears throat> the Great Pyramid of Giza, the Hanging Gardens, the Statue of Zeus at Olympia, the Temple of Artemis, the Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, the Colossus of Rhodes, and the Lighthouse of Alexandria. <laughs> not bad, not bad. How's our unicorn cake? I've just made near for it. Look how great it is! Our unicorn cake is ready! I would call it a wonder. 